Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to propagate strawberries from runners. So let's go. There are a lot of different ways you can propagate strawberries. You can propagate them from seed, you can propagate them from division, and you can also propagate them using their runners. Today's video is gonna focus on how to propagate strawberries from runners. I don't know the variety of strawberries that I have, but I can tell you that they've been bearing strawberries all spring into the summer months, which means they're ever bearing strawberries. And they have really started to send off what are called stolons or runners. It's very important to cut off the runners from the mother plant for a few reasons. Number one, those runners are taking energy away from the mother plant, and you don't wanna do that. You want that mother plant to be nice and strong. Also, you wanna cut off those runners so that the runners can start putting energy into themselves and become a bigger plant. And the sooner you do that, the quicker both plants can become robust and bigger. Did you know that when you buy a strawberry plant, it will only live for about three to four years. So yes, it is a perennial, but it has a short lifespan. So it's very important to take those runners and keep them growing. And if you have too many, that's okay. You can always sell them or you can give them away. I always tell people when you buy strawberry plants, you don't need a lot. You maybe need six or eight plants. And over time, you will have so many plants, you won't know what to do with them. So let me show you a few things. First of all, notice that I have my strawberries growing in these raised beds. You can definitely grow your strawberries in some sort of a pot or container. You can even have them growing directly in the ground. Notice that it's August and I still have blossoms and I still have strawberries which is why these are ever bearing. If they were June bearing, they would only produce around June and then they'd be done for the whole season. And if you look down, you'll notice that there are runners coming off of the plants, going directly into the rocks here. I need to take care of all of those. So this particular runner right here, look at the base of it. You'll see that it already is creating roots, which is perfect for cutting this plant off and getting it potted up or placed somewhere else in the landscape. And here's another example of a runner. But notice here in this example that there aren't any great roots. Yes, there are some nodes where the roots will form, but there aren't any big roots that have started yet. In the pot, I have some pre-moistened potting mix. And if you are gonna pot up your strawberries, just make sure that the soil is well draining, but you don't have to pot them up. You can definitely place your plants elsewhere in your landscape. I'm just gonna use hand pruners, but you can also use small hand snips if you want. The key is to make sure you're using something sharp and something that's been sterilized. I like to use rubbing alcohol to sterilize all my tools. When it comes to where to cut, I a lot of times like to cut one to two inches out away from the plant so that I can use the small section here as an anchor to help keep this plant in place with the soil. If this baby plant had any blossoms or any strawberries forming on it, at this point, I would be removing those because I want the plant to put all its energy into creating strong roots. And that's just a close-up shot of what the roots look like. So I would just take my plant, make a little bit of a, a furrow or a hole. You wanna make sure you get the roots put into the soil. And again, you can use this piece here to help anchor the plant in. The big thing that you want to watch for is you want to make sure that you're not covering the crown of the plant. That is very, very important when we're talking about strawberries. Notice that the soil is pre-moistened and also today is a cloudy, rainy day, which is a perfect day for me to be doing this type of project. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to remove this extra runner that's coming off of this little baby plant because I want the plant to put all its energy into the roots. And there you have it. And notice again that the crown is fully exposed, which is this part right here. The rain really started coming down, so I had to come under cover. So let me just finish up this video with a couple of things. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel because I'll be showing you a lot more videos when it comes to strawberries. I have another kind of strawberry that's called an alpine strawberry. I'll be making a video showing you how to divide alpine strawberry. I'll also be making videos later in the season, next year, showing you my process for fertilizing these plants, what to do with them after the winter months, lots of content about strawberries. One thing that I also wanted to mention was if you have a strawberry runner that does not have any roots on it, then you can use what are called garden staples. You can even use bobby pins. 
anything to basically tack down the runner if you want to help it so that it can root itself. But honestly, usually strawberries will naturally root themselves as long as they're in contact with some sort of soil. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please drop them down in the comment section below. If you like this type of content and you want to see more content like this, please hit the like button. And until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.